Hello everyone. Now you'll notice I didn't say good morning. Now the reason for that is because I was originally meaning to do this on Monday morning. But um, for Maria Labatt in New Zealand, for whom Monday morning will come a little bit earlier than it will for us, I'm doing this on Sunday afternoon so that uh, it's ready when she wakes up. So this evening I am wearing green, rather bright green. Apologies if it's doing something to your eyes. Uh, the reason I'm wearing green is because I'm talking about thinking. So remember the three green behaviours, thinking, communicating and improving, those are the things that if you do them in the right proportion will take your organisation, your people and you upwards, make you better. Versus the amber behaviours, monitoring and directing, there are two of them and those are the things that will keep things where they are, maintain the status quo and manage risk. Versus the red and brown behaviours, those are the things if you have them in your diary too much, doing and floating, they will take you, your organisation and your people backwards, make them worse. And then there's blue living. So on Friday, I gave you a heads up to something a little bit different. And when it comes to thinking, one of the most important, well, I think the most important of the green, amber and red behaviours, blue is the most important for me, but in terms of work, it's about green. The one that you should be spending the most time doing is thinking. Uh, roughly half of your green time should be spent thinking versus the communicating and improving. Now, there are many different ways in which you can think. Uh, you could brainstorm, you could go out for a walk, uh, you could um, talk to your customers and you could ask them for their ideas. Uh, you could, I don't know, uh, read a book and look for inspiration. But there is one thing that I did recently, which is really unlike me, um, that made me think maybe that's another one. And I thought I'd share it with you because I'm really curious to see what you think about it. So some of you will know that um, I uh, enjoy listening to a band called Above and Beyond. And Above and Beyond uh, came out with a new album recently called Flow State. And Flow State is a mindfulness um, and believe it or not, yoga album. And uh, within that, there are five tracks in particular that I think are really lovely, but they're also accompanied by a spoken soundtrack. And that soundtrack is to put you in, into a mindful state. And so I thought, hey, this works for me, maybe it'll work for other people. And so I thought, why not? do an experiment with you guys because this is another way of thinking uh, relaxing and taking your mind completely off things so on Friday I suggested that if you wanted to take part then you could um, either bring your phone and uh, get access to a copy of Spotify maybe available on other music sharing platforms but I use Spotify um, but if you're somebody who uh, travels to work uh, in the company of others, then you may want to bring some headphones as well, ideally noise cancelling headphones, because they, they just block out everything else around you. So here's the thing. So I think it's probably good for you on a Sunday night as well if you're in the UK, because some people do find that their anxiety about going back to work on a Monday morning actually starts on Sunday evenings. And I think one way to um, help, it would never eliminate it, but one way to help with that situation is to try and relax. And I want to do an experiment with you guys. It'll only take 15 minutes. And so here it is. So if you look at uh, Spotify or another music sharing platform, look for an album called Flow State, F-L-O-W-S-T-A-T-E, putting you into a state of flow. And it's by a band called Above and Beyond. Uh, it should be quite chilled. And you'll notice that the first track on that is called Great Falls. Now, that is not the one that you should listen to. It's actually a track 18 or 19. And interestingly, it's called Great Falls again. I'm saying that because I want you to be confused with the first track, but it says Great Falls, and then it says spoken word after it as well. And track 18 or 19, Great Falls, spoken word, and the following four tracks all have spoken word written after them. Those are the things that I'm suggesting that you take 15 minutes to listen to. And that's it. That is literally it. 
put your earphones on as you're walking to work or as you're waiting to go to work tomorrow and just listen to the music and listen to the words. As I said, it's a little bit unorthodox. This is not normally my style, but I'm curious to see what effect it has because it had a really calming effect on me. And in particular, there is a point, I think it's around about the third track. You won't know it because the tracks merge into one. But in the third track, it, um, it does say the words, think about the things that have been holding you back. And before that, you've been put into such a lovely relaxing state that actually I think it opens your mind somewhat. So this is my experiment to you um, for thinking. It's a 15 minute thinking task. So go to above and beyond, flow state, about track 18 or 19, it's called Great Falls Spoken Word. Listen to that and the following four tracks and just see what it does to you. Now better, um, the same or worse, I'd be really interested to hear your feedback on what effect it had on you. You don't have to close your eyes or anything like that if you don't want to, but just, you know, just, just let it just wash over you and just accept it for what it is and listen to the words. And I'd be really interested to get your feedback. That's it for Sunday evening and Monday morning. Um, and hopefully this is going to get you off to, a, to, a, to the great start to a new week. Have a great Sunday evening. Have a great Monday morning and have a great week.